Hey everybody, and we are back with Luigi's Mansion, and it is August 1st, so happy new month day, as my family says. We just like to treat the first day of the month like a holiday, so it is new month day, and we don't even do anything special, we just call it new month day. Um, and then I want to apologize for being late on these videos. I woke up at 6 like I normally do, and... I had or I woke up at 5:45 from a terrible nightmare and at that point I didn't even want to get out of bed just because I was so scared. You know those days you people? Yeah, that's what I was talking about when the door can hit you in the last part. Um but you know those days people where you just have a nightmare and you don't even want to get out of bed, you just don't want to do anything because you're so terrified. Yeah, that's how that was this morning. Anyway, now I'm up and after I got up at actually 9, I was just lazy at that point, and didn't record until now. So, um, pardon me if it lags here for a second. There's, like, updates on this computer that keep popping up when I don't want it to. Anyway, in this part, like I said, um, last time, we are going to beat the final boss. And you do the same, or not the final boss, the boss for Area 2. And you do the same thing like we did with the secret room where you just examine the doghouse and you get sucked into here. Um, and to get back out, you go through this tree stump, and you do the same thing there. So, basically, you want to hit some of these. Some of them have hearts in it, some of them do not. This one right here has a big Chauncey heart. That's what I always call it, a Chauncey heart. Let's see, this one has a heart. No, it doesn't. Um, that one has a heart. And then, this one should have a heart, if... Yeah, okay, this one over here. No, okay, that doesn't. That summons these ghosts, and these are more like the Mr. Bones guys, and you... Uh, why is this not working? Okay, there, you want to suck them up, basically. So you have to suck these three up, and they will throw their, like, boomerangs at you, like bone meringue, like Q-bone. Alright, I'm going to try and suck both of these up at the same time. I wasn't sucking them up before, and at first I thought that my R button didn't work because it wasn't sucking them up. I thought that for a second. So anyway, now you see this is glowing, and I want to turn the volume up on my thing so I can hear this. No, that's too loud. It'll echo into the microphone. So you want to stand up here. Glowing and lightning strikes, and this guy appears. And Luigi, like, screams bloody murder. He isn't even that scary. If I saw him in real life, I'd be like, Hey, Luigi's Mansion! Alright, um, so now somehow we get transported to this little arena thing, and again, that's too loud, I apologize if you can hear that in the microphone. Anyway, so basically, how to beat this boss, it's really easy. You, um, well, no, it's not easy. It's an easy concept, it's hard to do. You want to suck up these big shadow guys, he summons big ones and little ones, I suggest sucking up the big ones, and then you want to shoot them at him, and then suck him up. Um... And hopefully not run into any of the other shadows, because they will- the, all the shadows try and come for you. So... Hey, can I suck one of you up now? Alright. So you want to shoot it at him again? For some reason, I normally have a lot of trouble with this boss, and that's why I said last time that this is probably more difficult than the final boss. Because the final boss to me is pretty easy, but... This boss, to me, just is, like, beyond difficult. <laughs> it's so hard and for me to do, I guess. It's not that hard, but it's definitely the hardest boss for me. And I miss it again. And he's laughing at- Oh, no! Oh, no! I hit him! I hit him, and I'm trying- I don't know why I'm continuing to suck up these things. No, don't leave yet. Yeah! Alright, if you run into the other shadow things, they'll just knock you off. So... And if you don't, if you're wondering why that, ow, that was like a big one. If you're wondering why you just get broken off all of a sudden, it's because that's what's meant to happen. You're not, or it, I'm going to suck this one up because eventually it like just disappears itself. All right, um, where did he go now? There you are. And of course it's by all the other ghosts, so. Anyway. Yeah, we beat the final boss. Not the final boss. Why do I keep saying final boss? The second boss. Anyway, this boss is, for some reason, extremely difficult for me to beat. Yeah, respawned. Alright. 
Now, these big hearts will be here for, like, ever, so don't worry. And my thing is lagging. Oh, well. Um, yeah. So now, once again, my text is green because this key is green. Green-ish. Curse Luigi, curse. That's a great lightning sound. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. I thought you lost signal. How did you know that? Why don't you come on back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay, good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portrificationizer? That's a difficult word to pronounce if you read it wrong. Anyway, so like last time, we're gonna do this again, and they all go through there. But for some reason, he still gives, like, the same speech. He says it every single time you do this, which confuses- I don't want an iTunes update! Sorry. More updates on the computer. See, the ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. He says that every single time, and I'm like, I know already. Um, I'm not gonna tell you his name yet, even though I know it. That would be, um, the dancing- or the floating whirlindas, or whatever their name is. That's Shivers, the butler. Melody Pianissima. Mr. Lugs. Um, that's Spooky the dog, and I don't know why his picture's black, because he's a blue ghost, but... <laughs> Thanks for your help, Luigi! You're welcome! Um, now we've caught Area 2, Mr. Lugs. The Floating Whirlindas, Melody Pianissima, Shivers, Spooky, and Bogmire. That's his name, Bogmire. Nine Ghosts. I would really like to see what he looked like as a human, because Bogmire does not look remotely like a human at all. Alright, I'm trying to determine if we got more money than last time or not. We probably did. Two million. Okay, and then all pearls. So we have a total of eighteen million nine hundred and five thousand dollars, or whatever the currency is called in this game, because it says G, but I don't know what that is. So anyway, we're gonna go back to the mansion, or the mansion, because I have to read some descriptions, because I forgot to do that last time. So we're gonna press Z and the dancing whirlwind. Is did I read those? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't want to go all the way back there. Shivers. He wanders the house, endlessly searching for his master's will. He hopes he's included in it. He's 17 years old. Or 72. What the heck? Not 17. Melody Pianissima, the beautiful pianist, 26 years old. Despite playing moving melodies, she has a surely disposition. Oddly enough, she loves video games. Um, yeah. She loves video games. That's awesome. The glutton, Mr. Lugs, 30 years old. He prefers all-you-can-eat buffets to three meals a day. He ate himself to death, but still wasn't satisfied. The hungry guard dog, Spooky, four years old. This creepy canine will sink its chops into any seemingly edible thing in sight. And then Bogmire, they have no clue who, how old he is. A product of the mansion's fear and despair. He's not sure who to fear or what to despair of these days. That's funny. Alright, so, because we're only eight minutes in, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start Area 3. At least start it. Oh, yeah, but all the, um, all the, what is it, the lights are turned on now. Yay! So, for some reason, this door right here is a door to Area 3, but you never unlock it, ever. Ever. You never unlock it. Even when you beat the game, you don't unlock it. Ever. So, it it's like a really good shortcut, but you never unlock it. Oh, there's Toad again. Alright, so... Um, I'm debating on whether to start Area 3. Do 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 I don't think I'm going to, just because, um... You know, we are at a ten minute part already. I thought Bogmire would take a lot longer than that, but... No. So, this room is still... Locked, because... Er, closed. I just want to make sure... I don't think I missed any booze yet, but... You know, want to make sure. <laughs> so, because we're at 10 minutes, I am going to go ahead and end the part. Thank you guys for watching today. I know we only caught one ghost, but it was the boss of Area 2. So, you know. So, on Friday, we'll start Area 3. 
Um, and the video for Chow will be up in a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.